Shalom. Shalom, Wendemoch. Salam laku alaykumu. Oh, Miss Lemon Fasica, what we're going to touch on today, right, is the so called boule. But I actually want to ask the question first of all um, are the boule, right, are the boule the modern version of the Hellenist? You know, the Hellenist. You remember the Hellenist in the book of Maccabees? You remember Maccabees? Right, the Maccabee Bible, Maccabees. What's the book of Maccabees about it? And much of uh, Israel, right, or black Israel, or the black Hebrews and the Hebrew Israelites need to consider this as well, even though many of them um, are in part blind to that revelation of the King of Kings, of Kedemawi Haile Selassie. Well, it says that that blindness in part has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be brought in but this is connected with the reason for the season when we're speaking about hanukkah and we're speaking about black israel and speaking about black people especially over the past 40 years going around the same old mountain right just like the israelites i mean it's point for point right ye are the lost sheep of the house of israel but many refuse that you know and almost like esau Right, they basically sell their um birthright, right, and and the real blessing for um for the world, you know, for the world, like Esau did, you know, basically. So what we're touching on right here is the boule, the so-called boule, right? The so-called black boule, some call it the black boule, right? The black boule and the Greek and the Greek frats and those nine frats, so forth and so on. Um, being likened very much to the Hellenists, right? And what was going on in the book of Maccabees, right? And, and this is where the war, because we're at war. There's a spiritual war that is on. It's been on for the past 40 plus years, right? This war has been on for 40 plus years. Mm hmm but it has intensified in the 40 years and the present state of the lost sheep or, or, or so-called black people is directly, um, is directly chargeable to the so-called black leadership, right? And that black leadership is the so-called talented 10th. Remember who the talented 10th were, right? And we're speaking about this boule, this Greek, this Hellenistic influence, right? And hopefully we'll have an opportunity to get into some of the details of that. So when we're looking at Maccabees, and let's just move this over. When we're looking at Maccabees right here, and we're looking at what this symbolic picture, right? This is a very symbolic picture right here, the Black Messiah. And they were successful somewhat in the past 40 years and stopping that rise, that rising in our conscious awareness, our hearing and our seeing the reality. Instead, we've been hoodwinked and bamboozled and, and beat, you know, like they beat the Messiah, our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMoshiach, as they hoodwinked him and beat him, right? This is why we can see that link with the lynching and the crucifixion of I and I, black Lord and Savior. But there is a very interesting part of the Bible that has been taken out of most Bibles, and that's the book of Maccabees, right? And the other books of the Apocrypha between Malachi and the book of Matthew. And this is where this very important part of our story takes place. And this is the season Hanukkah should be observed, right, by all once lost, now found black sheep in the house of Israel. And it's a spiritual, it's, 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 it's a thought, it's a remembrance, it's a learning, it's a growing, it's a recognizing the true light in our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, right? Th that's where it begins, by faith, by a moon, and by admitting. But first, ye shall know the truth, right? We need to know the truth. Now, the spiritual truth of this is that when we look at the different black groups, right, the different, it's like we've been a victim of trauma-based mind control as a people. And so therefore the, our soul, the soul of the people has been fragmented into different pieces or parts, fragments. And when we're looking at the different groups that existed during the time, the first advent 
of Christ, the son of the living power, right? Yeshua HaMoshiach, Jesus Christos, Jesus Christ. We begin to recognize, you know, the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the Hasidim and the Essenes and the Zealots, you know, like the black revolutionaries, the Zealots. But then we also have another group called the Herodians. Now, the Herodians equal, right, the Hellenists equals the Boule or the Black Greeks. You know, they call them the Black Greeks, the Black Boule, so forth and so on. This is why when we ask, well, how come His Majesty really rarely has been ever really seen when he came and visited I and I, his people, with any of them, even though he spoke to the Black people in their movement? Right to come out of Babylon, to come out of this confusion. So that's very interesting right there. But what I want to 